with Travis Roberts, one of the certified technicians here at Fitzgerald Auto Malls. There are so many options when it comes to child safety seats. How do I know which one to pick that's best for my child? Uh, first, you want to make sure that you have a seat that's going to fit your child, your height, the weight. You want to make sure that the seat is going to fit in your vehicle. And then there's a lot of sites you can go on that will show you what the best fit for your child would be. First thing we did was I took a look at the seat to find out if it needed to be installed with a safety belt or a latch. This particular seat needed a safety belt. Um, it also realized it needed some noodles to get the appropriate angle to fit in the vehicle correctly. I ran the safety belt through the lower portion of the seat, buckled it in, put the noodles in place to get the proper recline, tightened the seat down, and then that's when I put on the locking clip. Tighten it as much as you can, you hold it, unbuckle it from the belt, put the safety clip on, and then rebuckle the seat and that will theoretically keep the seat from moving back left and right and coming undone if somebody unlocks the car seat all you do is put it back down in the buckle and everything should be fine again what is the most common mistake that caregivers and parents make when installing these seats well some of the mistakes that happen during the installation process are that the seat is too loose okay. and it can move more than an inch and therefore in a crash it can slam into things when people are putting the child into the seat, some of the mistakes that happen are that the harness is too loose and the child could escape out of the seat during the crash. What about kids that just are crafty and unbuckle themselves? Well, we do have that thing happen with kids wanting to unbuckle themselves. And fortunately for us, the manufacturers have started making seats with higher weight harnesses. So we're able to harness them in a five point harness and keep them from putting the belt behind their back and all the things that kids do. On average, how long does it take for someone to install a child safety seat? Well, for a certified technician, it doesn't take that much time. It can sometimes be just a few minutes. But one of the things that we try to stress with our technicians is we want them to take more time with the parent or caregiver so that they can understand how to do it themselves. If we jump in there and put a seat in in two minutes and go thank you and send them out the way, we did not get that interaction with that parent or caregiver so they know what to look for when there's some issues. And the hidden benefit to that is if they leave here with the knowledge, they may share it with other friends and neighbors and that's what we're trying to accomplish here. And that, my friends, is the Fitzway.